Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Cal Abukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So I remember when I first came down to Silicon Valley, I remember when the word innovation was finally in my job title because for the longest time it wasn't. I came down in 1995, right around the time that Netscape was about to have their IPO to meet with Netscape and Yahoo and a number of other companies at the time to see how they could help us roll out high-speed internet access service back in Canada. And it took me a while, but after that initial visit and standing in Fry's Electronics, surrounded by people looking at circuit boards and talking about uh, Unix sysadmins and stuff like that, I thought to myself, I'm among my people and I really need to be here. So fast forward to my first job down here. It was still technology, but it had to do with the internet. I worked for a web design firm, but I still wasn't doing anything super innovative. I was bringing in the guts of what other companies were doing. We were, we were helping to power the innovation, but we weren't really coming up with the innovative new ideas until I got a gig at Yahoo where I was running the innovation program and the whole key there. And this was the first time I had innovation in my job title. And if you're watching this or you're listening to this, you probably have innovation in your job title too. And I don't know about you, but the fact that I had, I finally had innovation in my job title, the thing I'd been seeking all this time really empowered me to feel different about this role compared to all other roles. I felt that it was important that I use the energy behind the fact that I had innovation in my job title to help drive innovation through the organization. Process innovation, product innovation, helping people to embrace change, to not fear change so much, to look at opening up new markets, new boundaries, new areas, things that they'd never thought about before, things that they would never think of doing before. I used that term, that word in my job title as a, an energy source, a battery that would power me through all of the setbacks and the pushbacks that I had over my time there. And that's, I had plenty of setbacks and pushbacks and you know it. If you have innovation in your job title, then you see it too. You see the barriers coming up against what you're doing. I mean, what do they look at you? They go, innovation has no ROI. Why are we doing this? We need to do our core stuff. Why are we doing anything new and different? When times are tough, innovation is cut back on. When is exactly the moment that it should be expanded? Exactly the moment you should pour more money into innovation is when times are tough, but the opposite occurs. If innovation is in your job title, do you think it's the throwaway? Do you think they just put it there because, hey, everybody's, everybody innovates? Or do you use it as a source of power to help you to propel your colleagues and your clients into embracing the future, into creating new things, new innovative solutions for your customers? Do you use the power of innovation in your job title to drive innovation? That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.